Welcome to the scenic and undecided railway. This is part of our series on layout operations. Today, we will follow train number SAC01 as it moves coal from Sparwood Mine to the rotary dumper at Anacron. Train number SAC01 is an MTCP rail bath tub gondola consist seen here headed toward a flood loader at Sparwood Mine. The train passes a massive wheel excavator. The cars are loaded at a sparwood silo. As the loaded coal consist rolls northward, it passes the Shell Oil Refinery, which processes sulfur and oil at Pectin. SAC01 rolls through fording and passes a Burlington Northern GP40 that is shoving gondolas loaded with scrap iron and steel into an open half furnace at Freitag Steel, an integrated steel mill complex. The coal train waits for a sulfur train headed for the refinery at Pectin to clear the main line to Pincher. With the main line clear, SAC01 proceeds to Pincher, passing the furnaces of Freitag Steel, where a pair of Hewlett's unload an orb boat. The coal drag rumbles past the grain elevators, sometimes called prairie skyscrapers, along the line at Pincher.
at the JC Pulp and Paper Mill, SAC01 meets an MT grain train, headed for Pincher. The loaded coal train passes through a rock slide shed as it approaches the tunnels at Three Valleys. Here it will take the Kingsley cut off to Field Yard. SAC01 crosses Lake Wapta. SAC01 enters field yard, where it will stop to change out power. CP rail number 5775 cuts off from the loaded coal train and moves on to a siding to wait for an MT coal train from Anacron. It will take the MT consist to Sparwood. A pair of CP Rail SD40-2s, headed by number 5864, couples onto the loaded coal train. SAC01 crosses the Columbia River on its way out of Golden and heads west toward steep mountain grades. At Hell's Gate, SAC01 is greeted by the Royal Hudson as it swings along the Fraser River.
As the coal drag crosses the bridge over the Kicking Horse River, the grade is 4%. A tiny mine train crosses the wooden trestle overhead as SAC-01 emerges from the tunnel at Ashcroft. Ashcroft is a copper mining district, where copper, silver and gold are refined. The coal drag crosses the triple arch bridge, soon followed by Hanging Valley. After crossing the Hanging Valley Trestle, the train heads west toward the summit at Stony Creek Bridge, which is 160 feet above the valley. The train leaves Rogers Pass and heads for North Justice. After passing through Union Station, SAC-01 takes the John Allen Memorial Viaduct with multi-city in the background. Down below there is a lot of action, while the bridge crane unloads coal from a barge, a pile driver works on Port Allen, and a woodchip hopper is dumped. Meanwhile, a rock grapple unloads stone in Undecided.
the coal train soars swiftly over Smith Falls. Heading down a grade of 3%, the train passes Lennon Farm as it heads toward Cascade Tunnel under Pi 6 Peak. Leaving the west portal of the Cascade Tunnel at Scenicht, the coal train crosses a magnificent stone arch bridge. SAC01 swings through the town of Anacro, on its way to the yard. The locomotives break off from the coal train. SAC01 is broken up, and the cars are pushed up into the rotary dumper. Meanwhile, the pair of SD40-2s pick up SAC02, an empty coal train waiting on track 2, in Anacron Yard. After picking up a caboose, SAC02 heads back to Golden, where locomotive number 5775 will take it back to Sparwood Mine to be loaded. We hope that you enjoyed the video.